Election day is over, but of course the results of the races aren't final yet. In San Luis Obispo County, all eyes are on the very close race for District 4 San Luis Obispo County Supervisor. Let's get to the latest results. They show incumbent Lynn Compton in the lead, just barely though, with 6,092 votes to Jimmy Paulding's 6,009 votes. KSPY News reporter Fabula Ramirez joins us now live in studio with the latest on this race. Bobby. Since the first results came in last night, less than 100 votes have separated Lynn Compton and Jimmy Paulding. That's a tight race, which may be keeping everyone's keeping a close eye on. With thousands of ballots left to process, every vote counts, especially in the tight race for District 4 supervisor. We're reviewing um, ballots as they come in uh, for the Compton campaign to make sure uh, that all uh, the votes are counted and are accurate. No official winner will be decided until all these ballots are counted. 17,000 of them were cast at the polls and about 20 to 25,000 vote by mail ballots were collected from the post office Wednesday morning. We asked voters to and the public to be patient with us. We're going through, we're taking all our validation checks being sure that all of our counts are correct. County Clerk Recorder Tommy Gong says he hopes to have this election certified by the end of the month. Right now, the race between Lynn Compton and Jimmy Paulding could go either way. And if the results end up being close, there's always the option for a recount. So any registered voter could call for a recount if they deem to do so. Um, but there's a deposit that's required. It's basically the daily rate that we use to pay our extra help workers. Both candidates have people close watching each ballot being processed. Um, also being here allows us to uh, see up-to-date changes, um, which at this point there are going to be very few, um, but allows us to at least uh, engage in that and report back to um, the uh, the campaign. Incumbent Lynn Compton released a statement saying, quote, this is a very close race and we look forward to a speedy conclusion. In the meantime, as the county finishes its work, we are awaiting the results like everyone else, end quote. Her challenger Paulding also released a statement saying, quote, as we anticipated, this is a very close race with as much as a third of the expected total votes unaccounted for. We remain optimistic that we will be successful. This race is not over, end quote. The county clerk recorder says current numbers will not be updated until Friday morning. Live in the newsroom, I'm Fabiola Ramirez, KSBY News.